Hi guys, welcome to Melgat Farms. It's a good day here on the farm. It is downright chilly though. And today, we have a lot on the agenda. Or let me say our agenda is big. Hopefully we can knock some of the things off our to-do list and have an easier week. Um, the big thing we've got to get done today is work on labeling the bottles for our big order. <laughs> One thing we got to get done today, guys, is labeling the bottles for our big order with Food Lion. So that'll get done here in a little bit. But first, we're working on uh, feeding the animals, which we've already fed the alpacas and the chickens. We got to check on our sheep, and then that's it. Go back to bottling. Looks like everybody's doing good today. Oh boy, I always miss that. How's everybody doing today? Bah. 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 Here we go. Hi, buddies. Come on. Come on in. Come on. I'm not going to bite you hard. Hi, girls. Truman look like don't eat the camera. <laughs> Hi, alpacas. Cleveland. Go. Go over and get some food. What? Hey, 27, don't chew on me. Hi, little one. What are you doing? Hi, come on, girls, boys. Let's go. Watch out, silly butt. Move. Come on, get out of the way, 27. Sprightly, move. Here we are. Yay. Everybody's getting something to eat. Well, that's a little one. Number 33, you are tiny. Hi, buddy. Hi, 290. How are you today? All right. So come along guys, watch what we're gonna get done today. Guys, what we're doing now is getting ready to label. And we have a label machine that we'll talk to you about um, and share with you. We're setting these up and then we're making sure, as we set this up, we're making sure that we are as efficient as possible. The less movement we have from where the bottles are to the label to the case uh, or the, the pallet, the easier this is going to be. When we first started doing this a couple years ago, we used just the plain label. And we would take a bottle. We have a bottle sitting here like this. We'd have to grab the label and we have to pull the label off, then put it on. Let me make sure I'm explaining this all the way. You get a bottle, you set it down, grab your labeler, your label. In fact, I'll show you how we do it. Guys, when we first started doing this, our labels would come in rolls like this. So when, when it was time for us to put the label on the bottle, we would grab a bottle like you see here, put it down, grab our stack of labels, peel the label, put it on the bottle. A little smoothing action there if you will, make sure there's no ripples or bubbles. Roll it, grab our second, our backs, peel the label, put it on the back, put it in the case. That all changed when we met our neighbor John, who happens to be a gentleman that, that is big into labeling. A complete God moment right there, let me tell you that, guys. Uh, John has been a great friend and a great neighbor to us. Uh, he used to own a company <clears throat> that if you have ever bought prescription drugs through the mail, one of his machines filled your order. So he has them all around the country and uh, just a really, really super smart guy, and fun to work with, and he loves to label too. So he'll come over and label with us at times. Wonderful, wonderful guy. So he turned us on to the company that purchased his company, and we got these labelers. Uh, these labelers, you'll see in just a couple of minutes, will advance a label right where we want it. And, I, and uh, well, let me show you what it does. Let me show you how this thing works, guys. The label, I'm just gonna peel it off. 
there's an optical eye right there. And when the machine is on, it will advance the label to that point right there. So the only thing that I'm doing is just with my finger, grabbing it and putting it on the bottle. And it goes like this. See where it stops? Every now and again, you got to make a couple of adjustments just to get it to get it dialed right on in. Put your label on. And by the way, we're labeling cold bottles. We are not labeling hot bottles that we just bottled. Here we go. That's it. Pretty simple, isn't it? If you guys are interested in one of these machines, just email us at millgatfarms.com or go to our website and fill out the contact form. Uh, just send us an email and we'll help you get one of these. It really changed a game changer for what we're doing. A lot of what we do here on the farm is uh, efficiency based. The more efficient that we are, the, the easier things uh, are to accomplish. When we bottle, we put the, obviously put the, the syrup in hot. It's sort of, a, it's a canning process that we do. Once the bottles have cooled down, that's when we label. Um, and in this case, we have a bunch of bottles inside the, the bottling room that are already filled. And either we're gonna have to move them out and move them back in, or we can just allow the time that it's going to take to heat our syrup up and use that time wisely in that we're going to label uh, and make that happen. So as you guys can see, I've got a glove on my hand. And the reason I do is that when I'm reaching down in the box to grab a bottle, I don't want my cuticle or my fingers to get cut in any way. And that glove offers a little bit of protection. We have gotten one of the pallets done here. Uh, we are two rows up from where we began, uh, and we got the call that the truck is ready. That is my F-350 that's at the dealership. So we're gonna go pick that thing up and come back and finish this up. We've got about 23, we've got about 30, 35 cases left to get finished, and then, uh, We'll wrap them up on the pallet and get ready to put them in our truck for the delivery that we're gonna make this coming Thursday. As always guys, if you like what you're seeing, um, hey man, give us a thumbs up. That'd really be helpful for us. And comments, we really appreciate comments. If there's something you guys think we can do better, hey, just share it. We're, we're definitely new at what we're doing and we're learning more every single day. And your comments are really, really helpful. So if you guys want to visit us, uh, you can go to our website, millgatfarms.com. We're located in the western part of Virginia. We have a B&B here on the property, and we have a B&B located not too far away. It's a house in the trees. It's pretty cool. If you want to visit millgatfarms.com, check it out. Let us know. We'd love to have you come out and, and just show you what we do. Guys, until next time, God bless you.